Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some great news about a returning character from both The Clone Wars and The Mandalorian to Star Wars The Bad Batch. That's right now on Star Wars Coffee. Greetings Exalted Ones, this is Star Wars Coffee, keeping you up to date with everything Star Wars, including the latest news, leaks, and analysis. I'd like to give a special shout out to the current Star Wars Coffee channel members. Starting at just $1.99 a month, you can get exclusive commentary from me as we re-watch the entire Star Wars series. Thank you to B-Sims, Daniel, Richard, Reyna, Michelle, Meaner, Neon, and Ethan for being channel members. Disney announced a ton of new projects for Star Wars specifically at their investors meeting earlier this last week. And with that being the case, there has been so many announcements that you have to go check out the video on the channel that I did recapping every single announcement and every single show and movie that they talked about. But we're going to dive into specifically The Bad Batch today. The series follows the elite and experimental clones of the Bad Batch, which were first introduced in Season 7 of the Clone Wars in a big way where they got their own arc, that is. As they find their way in a rapidly changing galaxy in the immediate aftermath of the Clone Wars, which is post Order 66. Members of the Bad Batch, a unique squad of clones who vary genetically from their brothers in the clone army, each possess a singular exceptional skill which makes them extraordinarily effective soldiers and a formidable crew. In this post-Clone War era, they will take on daring mercenary missions as they struggle to stay afloat and finding new purpose. The animated series will arrive exclusively on Disney+. Plus. That's the official StarWars.com announcement and description for this show from the Disney Investors Meeting. This show was first announced earlier this year with a tip from Castle Run Transmissions, which ended up coming to fruition. Now we're going to take a look at what Jordan Mason has to say about an exclusive familiar face returning to this show. So this is an exclusive from Jordan Mason. I've been sitting on this one for a while just because of all of the Mandalorian news, but now with the announcement of a trailer for The Bad Batch, I thought this would be an acceptable time to take a look at this. Jordan Mason's on Cineflex titled Star Wars. The Bad Batch will include a familiar face. We've heard word about at least one familiar face fans can expect to see in the upcoming Bad Batch animated series. Despite being announced a little while ago, we've heard little about the next Star Wars animated series, The Bad Batch. This was written earlier in November before the trailer, so excuse that. The Bad Batch. We know that the show will take place after the events of Revenge of the Sith and put the focus on Clone Force 99 as they figure out their place in the new Imperial Order. Taking a break from the article again, which we saw in the trailer featured where Palpatine was making his announcement, which was very exciting to see. So Jordan Mason continues, Evidence has been mounting that the show will debut early in 2021, spring likely, which means we'll hopefully get more details and a trailer sooner rather than later. We finally got in that trailer, the end of the year here. In the meantime, I've heard from a number of sources that we'll see at least one familiar face return, Bo-Katan. On top of getting her live-action debut in The Mandalorian Chapter 11, Bo-Katan will return to her animated roots as well. At this point in the Star Wars timeline, this would be shortly after her role in The Siege of Mandalore, seen in the final season of The Clone Wars, and well before she took hold of the Darksaber in Star Wars Rebels. It's a relatively unexplored time, could definitely help fill in some gaps about what exactly happened to Mandalore during the Age of the Empire how exactly that all ties into the Bad Batch and what those specialized clone soldiers are up to is hard to say. Perhaps it has something to do with the clones seeking out their original Mandalorian heritage after feeling listless in the wake of the Clone Wars. Jordan continues, I wish I had more specific info to share and I'll update as it comes. Suffice it to say, Bo-Katan will continue to be a part of Star Wars storytelling. I've also heard she likely isn't the only familiar character to expect in the show, but I don't have enough sources to throw those down just yet. So Jordan continuing to tease what else can be expected as more characters, familiar faces are likely to return, which would be exciting to see. 
However, the Bad Batch animated show based on this trailer alone looks fantastic, and I'm very excited to see that Bo-Katan will come back as well, as it seems to be Dave Filoni's thing to introduce characters into one medium and considering moving them into another to really deepen the lore of all of these characters. And I think that's the best way to handle the future of Star Wars is to continue to flesh out all of these characters. And so I'm very excited to see where this goes. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.